Hello and welcome, welcome for this demonstration. So this is the final effect. Wingfox is an online learning platform with excellent tutorial and it's a leading platform for artists to keep on growing and sharing and contacting and inspiring. It contains CG, VFX, game art and graphic design and animation and plenty of marvelous tutorial a lot of excellent tutorials and houdini has its own share with a lot of excellent tutorial and today i will tell you about comprehensive guide for filmmaking with houdini and unreal engine 5. this is a very excellent tutorial that combine the new unreal engine 5 and houdini and how we can export from houdini to unreal engine 5. this course they will talk about how set up to set up the Unreal project and the folder structure. We'll talk about the RBD uh, destruction and how to export it as, as FBX to Unreal Engine. Talking about the material, lighting, and the Biro setup as a flipbook and send it uh, to Unreal Engine. Also, they will talk about the atmosphere, how to set up the lighting there. Also, some procedural modeling for the log development and uh, how to import all of the asset and material to the uh, to unreal engine and a lot many many more and it's very detailed and comprehensive and it's done by godo bonzani a senior vfx technical artist and it is very comprehensive guide for filmmaking for especially unreal engine 5 and houdini you can find the link down below in the description and you will see the coupon for the discount and now it's with $59 and with a discount it will go down even 15% off so hop in there and have a look we were in Unreal and before that we were in Houdini and this is what we come up with so it's just a trail to connect between Houdini do the Vellum simulation then move it to Unreal Engine and render the effect there in sequencer here's another view, another camera so let's go and see so now we go to the villain setup in Houdini so this is the file so it just at this geometry that I move it up in one in a little thing. I add a big node, so this big node will make it a little bigger. So I can have two layer one outer layer for the villain and the inner layer for the collision geometry then we added edge fracture let's view it so this is the edge fracture it will fracture the surface total of 1000 piece okay then I went down to vellum cloth so this is the cloth are the constraint as you can see it's a cloth with high density so this is heavy and stiffness to the maximum and bend I keep it at one so it's bendable I connected the original geometry so it will collide with this is the collision geometry then I go to the Willem solver here. But before that, I wanted a gradual effect where it will build from top to bottom, not all together. So I took from the transform, I added a group, this group, and I make it as a box. So if you see here, this is the box capturing the whole geometry so everything is included and then animated gradually it's going down and 
anything in that uh, group I call it trigger I created an attribute specific one to that group this attribute I call it trigger and I give it the value of 1 so you can see as you can see here everything in that group has this integer value of 1 and if we move see some of it will start to, to be 0 because it's outside that group this attribute I can attribute transfer it to the geometry here but it will not send because it will take it only on the first frame so I must move it inside here while it's real time I only have a bob force and this bob force only affecting whoever uh, value is not his attribute value is not uh, one stopped Willem solver will use it so the Willem geometry will not be affected it's like inactive if it's zero then it is affected and it can be affected by the wind force that's going up against the gravity with some noise this is geometry wrangle that I input this output I put it here so it's reference kit so this is input zero so I'm telling I'm giving this attribute trigger take it from the point which point in the first input I want trigger because we call the attribute trigger and I want from each point number okay so I'm saving this one in this attribute then I'm telling Houdini Willem Solver that use stop value, take it from these points that we save it here on each point according to the trigger value that's either 0 or 1 according to the simulation so if you look at it here as you can see all trigger let's go one frame see all trigger is 1 so 1 so it's taking it one, then stop is taking this value, that's one. So everything is one here. But some will start to have zero. So whoever have zero will be affected by the book force. Let's have a look. As you can see, starting to build off. This is the inside collision, collision geometry, so it's uh, bouncing against it. Otherwise, it will just uh, go everywhere. So I want something to bounce against. Here is the effect. Cool. After that, I'm merging all together. So this is how it looks. This is the wind and the noise effect. Out in a null, then I split. I give each its own color. And after that, what I did, I went to the first one, this one. Go to File, Export, Alembic. And I'm exporting the whole range. I did it for this one. This one only one Alembic file, and no need for the whole cache. Now we go to Unreal Engine 5 
and there we create a new scene so here what I did is the following <coughs> let me check where this one is so what I did I went to add import to the game and this is what I export the vellum, uh, vellum object and the vellum static object okay. so let's take this one for instance import do you want to override existing asset uh, no to all let me just rename it original so let's do it again so this is the one I open give it a second so I will end up with this dialog box here I don't use static mix static mix will take only the first frame I will use the geometry cache okay and I leave everything the same and I click import so after that it will come here and this is the static object and I drag it to the scene and what I did here I put them both in a folder I make the volume static following the well parented to it so right, this one is moved it will move also we have the default uh, lumen lighting I created a couple of cameras like this one and in the sequencer we have it animated This is the material I use for the inner part, and this is the material I use for the outer part. And this is in sequencer, some quick camera. Uh, camera animation that I render it and this is the final result this is the first movement so we have a sky light directional light exponential fog and both process note also so I'm just trying to pick up the base with Unreal also learning through uh, new stuff along the way thank you very much for watching have a nice day